So, the post office just called. It's time to go pick up our chicks. Let's do this. So we're gonna open the box of chicks now. See what all came in. Are you ready? Oh, I saw a little sneak peek. Oh, look at him. Look at it, it's a naked neck. Oh. I see the Polish. I see the salmon favorals. I'll get more in depth with what I have. Salmon favorals have five toes if you can do that. Um, but yeah, I'll get these guys warmed up and then I will show you every one of the ones I got. So yeah, I'll show you setting up the brood too. So let's do that. All right, everybody. So I've got my chicks and I guess I'll name off a couple as I put them in. Um, I honestly don't know some of these. I know what I got in the mail, but some of these like look really cool, but I don't know what they're gonna look like as adults, but some I do. So like, this is a Polish, which is gonna look like a Polish. I'll puff up an image. That one could go right there. Let me grab the rest of the Polish. Yeah, I'm guessing these are all similar color-wise and all that. That's three of them. Um, I have no clue what this is, honestly, but I'm putting it back in the box. This is a salmon favoral, which will look like the image I put up, and then this one, and this one is a salmon favoral. I'll give you guys closer images too, after a second. This, I've been wanting for a long time. It's a naked neck, as you can see. And yeah, those are pretty cool. All right, so first up, before I put the rest of these in, I forgot to tell you guys that you do need to dip every one of your chick's beaks in water because they've been through a rough process. I've got electrolytes and vitamins in this water for them. These guys, I'm just gonna scoot under the heel in for a second so they don't get too cold. And I will start with these guys. I just put like my thumb kind of on the back of their head and hold them. Just barely dip their beak. Try that again. Okay, let's get a better hold of them. There we go. See that? He is now drinking. So he gets set down and I'll grab the next one which is a Polish. Just that one's beak. It's drinking, all happy. Then we'll grab a salmon fabril. It's drinking and happy. And yeah, I'll do the rest, then I'll get back to unboxing the chips. All right, everybody. So as you can see, you're probably wondering why there's rocks in here. 
I should probably be using a smaller water. I do not have one available right now. So I have the bigger water with bigger openings and I put small little pebbles from outside in there. And by the way, also have your water warm because if the chicks get chilled, it can cool down the inside of their body and it'll get way too cold for them. So let's get on to these chicks now and I'll explain to you what breeds they are. Okay, so this right here is an Easter egg. Or, well, should at least be. This one too. And then also this one. See the little stripe down their back? That's usually how you tell it's an Easter egg. Easter eggs are not like purebred. Forgot to dip their beef. But they're not purebred by any means. So they really. I mean, they're not like great for breeding and stuff, color eggs and stuff, because they don't. Goodness. Because they're not really one breed. They're a mix between five or ten different breeds. Then we've got Jersey Giants, which they should get massive. I got five of these. This one already kind of has feathers, so I almost wonder if purely poultry kind of ships them more than two days, which is not good, but I mean, they all survive. If they know what they're doing, I guess they know what they're doing. Now, I was supposed to get some white Polish, okay? Which would literally be this, but all white, okay? Three of those. And I don't see any of those. I see these, which are, I don't know, maybe like a gold lace lion dot or something. Oh, okay. Just looked at my list. I think they're buff brahmas. So I'm gonna grab all these and dip their beaks. They do have feathered feet like a buff brahma, so that should be good, so. All right, so I'm missing three Polish. I got 24 birds and I was supposed to get 22. So they must have, uh, they might have been out and then like gave me more than what I actually ordered for like the same price type thing. I just wanted to say they also did not give me my gold lace Polish either. They might have accidentally messed up and got me a gold lace Wyandotte, which is what this one is. But these are white crested black Polish. And then I don't have a gold lace Polish or the white Polish. This one is Azure. But what I'm thinking is that these are. If you look at their face, they've got like some gold. I'm guessing either silver or gold lace Wyandotte because that's kind of what they look like as chicks. I'll make sure, and if I'm wrong, I'll put it up in the video. I'll Google it after this video. But I'm gonna dip their beaks anyway. There's that one. This one's got his head hung low. But he's, when you grab him, he freaks out, so. Gotta be pretty healthy. There we go. Man, these ones are spazzers. All right, then we'll dip the last one's beak. Drink, drink, drink. Set it down, and then we got all the chicks out. We're gonna get their feed ready, and I'll show you a little trick if it works, because sometimes chicks are stubborn and stuff, but I'll show you how to get them to start eating. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you the packaging and how they do it from Purely Poultry. Uh, that's the only hatchery I ordered from. This is my first time ever, so I don't know any other hatcheries. You guys are gonna have to figure that stuff out, but they have this foam stuff, and obviously I'm gonna wash my hands because there's a bunch of poop and crap all over it. 
but it's actually surprisingly very clean. There's this and that foam and then the box basically. I'm surprised they actually stayed very warm because I mean it's like 40s, 50s, but it's downpouring which makes it really cold. So, but I pulled that box out and they were warm. So, yeah, let's get on to feeding them. and they all go crazy. All you need to do is just tap your finger. And obviously if one bird eats, they're all gonna eat. So you don't have to like shove their face in the food like you have to do with the water. The water is just a really necessary thing because you want your chips to have water. Food, they were just shipped so they're like a day old, they could go tomorrow and the next day without food probably and be perfectly fine. But, you know, I like to make sure they got food and stuff, so. Yep, you just tap the feeder. Also, as you can see, there are paper towels down. You do that for the first, uh, I wanna say like week or so. Even though I don't do it really week, but most of the time they tell you to do it for a week or so just because for one you could like examine the poop or whatever to make sure it's not like coccidiosis or anything spreading around anywhere way better than if it was on pine shavings and stuff and two it's so they get used to their food instead of like eating pine shavings because then they'll get impacted crop and most likely pass away so yeah all right, so I'm, I've got my paper of everything that I've ordered. So I'll just go over it real quick and I'll explain to you some of the mess ups they had. So to start off, we have Jersey Giants, which is a big black chicken. Uh, imagine the black astralorp, but like two times its size. They're massive. Next up, Pretty sure this is a buff Brahma because it's the only one with like feathered legs other than like the salmon favorel. And I'll pop up adult images too. Um, then we have the three. Let me find it. Here's one. We have three Easter eggers, which none of them have like poofy cheeks, so they're not gonna have beards. So, but they should like cool legs. Uh, then we have our three. Naked necks, as you can see. Like the back of its neck is completely like naked. This one has a little like neck floof. There's a technical term for that, but I'm just gonna call it neck floof. Um, then we have our salmon favorals, which are so cute. I love these chickens. And they're even cooler as adults, so yeah. Then down to our poles. That's where it got a little messed up, okay? So, I was supposed to get gold lace Polish chicks that look like this, and white lace Polish chicks which look like this. So, none of those came in. But, I've got these, which are either white crested black or white crested blue, which I've already got some, so it kinda sucks. But, you know, I'm still happy with it because a Polish is a Polish, but I've already got like five of them out there of these white crested varieties. I was really hoping to get more gold lace because I only have a single gold lace that's starting to get older. And yeah, so I've also noticed on this same of Favreau, I'll grab it real fast. It has a dark spot and usually when their feathers come in dark, that's a rooster. But I ordered all hens because if you look at a, a mom and a dad salmon favorel, male and female, uh, you'll see the rooster is literally, it's uh, black with kind of the salmon, goodness, going up my sleeve. But it's black with like the different colors and the big white beard and stuff. And the hen is like 
a pinkish, like, hay color, yellowy, brownish. Uh, and as you can see, if I pull out this one's wing, it's dark. You can see darker colors coming in. Even though there is the white on the end, you can see darker shaft, like, if you can really see it that well, I hope you can, but it's darker. Then let me grab another one. This one has no black spot. That's a little piece of dirt though. And as you can see over on this wing, no black. So there's a chance, most likely I got a rooster, which honestly, am I mad? No, because they're my favorite and I think it'd be cool to breed them. I was honestly, at some point, I was kind of hoping that maybe I'd get a spare rooster of one of these. But the Polish are unsexed, so if I get through roosters, well, that kind of really sucks. But uh, the salmon favorals were supposed to be all female, which I don't care. I'm completely fine with that. That just makes me worried about all the other colored chicks. Like, I don't want a Jersey Giant rooster and all them. I want the rest of them to be female. Easter eggers, I don't want a rooster. Cause like, they're basically just for colored eggs. So why would you want like a rooster other than breeding for colored eggs? And since Easter eggers are so mixed up gene wise, you cannot tell what kind of color that rooster holds. Cause like, they say it's like a random between blue, green and pink and like, one in every 300 has pink or something, that's what they surprise you with or whatever. And it's just, you have no clue what you're breeding as a rooster. If you want, if you want blue eggs, I know I'm talking a lot, but if you want blue eggs, just get like a cream leg bar, I know they're more expensive, or a Americana, a full-blooded Americana. Don't get like Americana from the store because those are just Easter eggers. But cream leg bars, 100% of the time like blue eggs. Then you get your Americanas or Aracanas type things. Those are two different birds, but they both lay blue eggs. So if you breed those, you will know for sure if the rooster has a blue egg or not. But like with these, it could, if it's a rooster, it could be a green egg, gene rooster, of even a brown egg. Some I got an Easter egg one time that laid brown eggs. So anyway, Yes, this is kind of my chick brooder setup. Thank you guys for listening to me talk a lot because I'm so excited about these chicks. And yeah, I will keep you updated and all that. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that bell down there and comment. And thanks for watching. Bye.